Welcome to the Marshall Space Flight Center 2020 Honor Awards Program. Here's our Center Director, Jody Singer. Welcome to the 2020 Marshall Space Flight Center Annual Honor Awards. I am so happy to be here today, even though it is virtually. You know, I love so much uh, being a part of the awards ceremony. It is so nice to be able to recognize each and every one of you for all the hard work that you have been doing, especially during a year like 2020. One of my priorities for this past year was change management. And I'll say you've all made me proud in how you have handled all that you faced in this chaotic times. This ceremony is about you. Thank you for all you do. You, our people, are the heart and soul of Marshall Space Flight Center. You are the most important part of what we do. And I am so glad to be able to recognize you today. Your dedication to our mission lights the way for us to continue to inspire the next generation. My deputy, Paul McConaughey, also wishes to say a few words. So, Paul. Thank you, Jody. We talk a lot about agility here at Marshall. That's an important strength that we have as a center and for each one of us as individuals and employees. So agility really means the ability to adapt to change. And boy, have we had change in this last year. We've shown our ability to change and adapt to environments, to changes in programs, to changes in technical challenges, all sorts of challenges that we've met. Uh, we have shown our agility. And you've all shown that agility, each one of you this year in this last year. But I know it's that and more that have brought you here today for these awards. And our center is incredibly lucky to have you. We appreciate the great work you've done, and I know that you'll continue to do that into this next year. But as we go into this next year, I'd like to remind you to please take care of yourself, your friends, your family, your workmates, and those around you. But in order to take care of those around us, we need to take care of ourselves. So I encourage you to take time for yourself to relax, recover, refresh, and most of all, celebrate the achievements today. So we're so happy to have you here today and happy to have you on the team. Now with that, I'll hand things over to Steve for some more remarks from our management team. Steve? Thanks, Paul. I want to start with a heartfelt congratulations. You, the awardees, are remarkable. And we wanted to honor you today to celebrate not just your achievements, but the skills you bring to the table each and every day. Like Jody says, our people, you, are the most valuable part of what we do. A lot of what we talked about this past year is how to keep you safe so you can do your job to the best of your ability. And I'm glad to see you've been able to accomplish such wonderful things during a difficult and different time. We are committed to continuing to emphasize your safety and health with each action we take so you can continue to excel. Because of what you do, we are delivering on our mission we are able to continue with our center priorities. We are able to brag about all that you are accomplishing. Thank you for your innovation, creativity, and support. Our team is better because of you. And now I'd like to welcome Renata America from Marshall's Office of Procurement for our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the realm parts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rock That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the
It's now my honor to introduce our keynote speaker, Clayton Turner. He is the director of the NASA's Langley Research Center. Prior to his appointment in September of 2019, he served four years as Langley's deputy director. He has also served as the center's associate director and director of engineering. Throughout his 30-year NASA career, he has led the agency's engineering efforts on many successful flight projects, including the Space Shuttle Program Return to Flight, the flight test of the Ares-1 rocket, and the flight test of the Orion Launch Abort System, just to name a few. Like many of you today, he's been the recipient of prestigious awards during his career, including the Presidential Rank Award, the Outstanding Leadership Medal, the NASA Outstanding Exceptional Engineering Medal, and the Paul F. Holloway Non-Aerospace Technology Transfer Award. I had the pleasure of being the keynote speaker at Langley's Honor Award a few years ago, and I appreciate Clayton returning the favor today. We already have so much history between our two great centers, and Clayton's wide range of engineering and leadership experience has strengthened that partnership, and it serves both Langley and the agency well as we work together on the Artemis program to send astronauts to the moon. Please help me in welcoming Clayton Turner. Good morning. I'm excited to join you virtually as we recognize the source of NASA's great achievements, the amazing people of this agency. Every day, you and your colleagues move NASA and our nation toward historic heights. You do it with your imagination, expertise, and perseverance. Today, we pause to applaud your efforts and achievements. It's also a great time for all of us to remember that we are part of an enterprise that time and time again has inspired millions around the world. Today, whether you're accepting an award or cheering on a teammate or a family member, I hope you feel a deep sense of pride. At NASA, we reach new heights to reveal the unknown for the benefit of humankind. What a great job description. We should never lose sight of that big picture. I also want to give special thanks to the family members watching today. We know that the kind of accomplishments represented by these awards requires sacrifice, long hours, tough choices, and maybe even relinquishing part of your home for office space. Without a robust support network, our missions would not be possible. Family members, please remember you too are a vital part of NASA's success. Marshall has an incredible track record of enabling many of NASA's groundbreaking missions. From your leading of the SLS, the backbone of the Artemis program that will send the first woman and the next man to the lunar surface, to your innovation, to your innovative development of the novel Ascent propellant, which powered the green propellant infusion mission spacecraft and proved that this never before used fuel and propulsion system was ready to enable our future. Marshall has and continues to lead the nation into space. Here at Langley, we had the opportunity to partner with you on the development and delivery of the Orion Launch Abort System. This recent example, like so many others before, highlights your collective desire to serve the nation by amplifying the agency's contributions. You also led the Long Life Additive Manufacturing and Assembly Project to enable 3D prints of parts to be used for lunar landers. In November, you conducted a series of hot fire tests and demonstrated rocket engine parts made with additive manufacturing methods that can withstand the same forces and conditions that traditional parts experience in flight. And these are just a few examples of your contributions and valued partnership. A few years ago, Director Jody Singer described the essential role both our centers play in Artemis and exploration in general. I want to echo that message. Now that you are the, know that you are the heart of NASA's plans for exploration, your work will be all the more important as we move closer to some key milestones for Artemis to the moon and on to Mars. Think about it. You are helping to write history every day. During the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing, I was in Washington, D.C. That evening, I went down to the National Mall. The stages were set, the screens were up, and they showed the projection of the Saturn V on the Washington Monument. 
It was very impressive and exciting to see. As I was leaving, I realized that there were thousands of people outside about 10 p.m., 90 degree weather in D.C. to watch a projection of an event that happened half a century ago. It struck me that we are part of an organization that created that excitement. Then I started to imagine the excitement for Artemis when we land the first woman and the next man on the moon when we go on to Mars. I reflected on how some of our accomplishments are so closely woven into our lives, we take them for granted. We are part of an organization that's helped to make it commonplace for me on that very same day to have breakfast in Seattle, Washington, and dinner in Washington, D.C. An organization that can send instruments into space to orbit the Earth, instruments that have made discoveries about our planet that are vital to our future. An organization that has explored the solar system, returned samples, and gazed deeply into our universe to reveal the unknown. An organization that has enabled our nation's technological leadership and made us a valued international partner. We've done all these amazing things and we have the opportunity to do what will be viewed 50 years from now with the same excitement and energy. So, in conclusion, I encourage you to remember why we're here. Never forget the impact of what you do, the excitement that you create that will fuel the goodwill and inspiration that will power our bright future. For me, that's the joy of being a part of this agency. I am honored to serve with you. Thank you and congratulations. Now it's time to start with the Director's Commendation Honor Award. As a director, I'm thrilled to commend these folks on the amazing work they've done that is critical to our center's success. The Director's Commendation Honor Award is the highest award given at our center. It is awarded to an individual whose job performance and her special accomplishments merit recognition and where no other avenues or recognition are sufficient. Shane Atkins for outstanding support in the implementation of critical environmental requirements in the Marshall Space Flight Center Stormwater Program. Leonardo Bereda, for exceptional leadership, insight, and contributions to the Space Launch System post-flight team. Anne Bathew, for exceptional service as the Assistant Branch Chief and Acting Branch Chief of the Space Systems Operations Branch while serving as lead of two SLS independent review teams. Nicole Benson, for excellence serving the information system owner and the management of the physical access control systems at Marshall Space Flight Center and Mashu Assembly Facility. Melanie Durvin, for outstanding support to the Science and Technology Program Planning and Control Office through operational optimization and strategic workforce planning. Lionel Dutre, for exceptional leadership in performing the roles of both Chief Operations Officer and Deputy Director of Mashu Assembly Facility during a leadership transition. Kenneth Eskridge, for outstanding leadership in the SLS Safety and Mission Assurance Review and Approval of Launch Commit Criteria and Operations and Maintenance Requirements. Harold Garish, for exceptional leadership and outstanding technical contribution and advanced propulsion technologies, including nuclear thermal and solar thermal propulsion concepts. Trista Guthrie, for outstanding achievements and resource management supports to the Materials and Processes Laboratory. William Harlan, for outstanding technical analysis that supported significant design decisions for advanced configurations of the Space Launch System. Tracy Helmick, for outstanding performance within the NASA contract property functional area and contractor community that led to improved processes for government property accountability. Ashley Hill, for technical excellence in supporting Space Launch System integrated vehicle performance modeling during design, verification, and flight readiness cycles. Mary Hovader, for sustained management leadership benefiting the Marshall Space Flight Center. Cynthia Hubbard, for outstanding procurement supports for the safety and mission assurance contract task orders by contributing significantly in achieving agency and center goals. Lawrence Jones, 
for exemplary leadership in developing critical elements of the flight rationale for the Space Launch System Orion Launch Abort System Ascent Abort 2 test flight. Larry Kim for outstanding contributions, dedication, and technical expertise in providing electromagnetic effects support to the International Space Station payload developers. Richard Knuckleman, for exceptional performance of multidisciplinary technical duties in support of multiple projects. Johan Lowe, for outstanding analytical expertise, technical accomplishments, and cross-program decisional integration to ensure crew safety for the space launch system. Paul Luz, for outstanding systems engineering and integration planning in support of the formulation of the Human Lander Program. Matthew McDougall, for exemplary service to advancing and implementing non-destructive evaluation of composite structures for the Space Launch System. Lee Miller, for exceptional contributions to the advancement of life support systems in support of the International Space Station and exploration missions. Rondal Mize, for leading the ICSPI MMA EU Vibe Test Failure Investigation. Mary Nations, for outstanding leadership and exceptional achievement to Marshall Space Flight Center during a critical time of transformational change and budget reductions to NASA's mission support areas. Michael Nichols, for outstanding initiative and leadership as lead test engineer during buildup and test conduct of the SLS Core Stage Liquid Hydrogen Tank Structural Qualification Test. Samuel Ortega, for exceptional leadership and facilitating relationships for the center, resulting in the development of significant strategic commercial partnerships. Rhonda Pepper, for exceptional leadership in the successful integration of Building 4221 to support multiple mission offices of Marshall Space Flight Center. Tanya Pierce, for outstanding leadership in development and implementation of multiple center-wide administrative organizational process improvements. Joan Presson, for outstanding leadership within the Systems Engineering Office and Center's experts of the Systems Engineering Customization Tool. Daniel Riley, for sustained and outstanding contributions in steady state and transient modeling leading to a safe engine start for the additively manufactured demonstrator engine. Charles Rogers, for exemplary technical contributions and leadership in structural dynamics testing at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Michael Sansusi, for outstanding leadership as Acting Materials Science Technical Manager. Denise Smithers, for providing outstanding service, improvements, and leadership to the Office of Diversity and Equal Opportunity, and for exceptional dedication to fulfilling its mission. Jeffrey Sowards, for exceptional technical leadership while serving as a welding engineering subject matter expert on the design independent review team for nuclear fuels fabrication. Chet Spiegel, for sustained leadership of the Imaging X-Ray Polymetry Explorer Replicated Optics Activity. Brenda Wade, for dedicated service to Marshall Space Flight Center in support of the management of critical infrastructure to NASA. Yolanda Williams, for exemplary leadership of the Flight Computer Application Software Assurance Team in the performance of vital technical tasks to ensure Space Launch System mission success. Certificate of Appreciation Honor Award Awarded to an individual in recognition of an outstanding accomplishment that contributed substantially to the mission of Marshall Space Flight Center. Timothy Atkins For initiative and achievement in developing a test data correlation algorithm which significantly reduced data retrieval and analysis time. Mary Cooper for exceptional support to the source selection activities for the Consolidated Program Support Services requirements. Zachary Courtright, for outstanding technical and project leadership of the Wide Field Infrared Telescope Friction Stir Welding Project. Harini Doram, for outstanding support of the testing, analysis, and verification of the Space Launch System Integrated Avionics Test Facilities. Lucas Day, for outstanding initiative and dedication during the buildup and test conduct of the SLS core stage intertank and liquid hydrogen tank structural qualification tests. Sherry Devini, 
for dedication and excellence in information technology supports for the Engineering Directorate and Marshall Space Flight Center. Glenn Doty for exceptional leadership and technical contribution as the Spacecraft Propulsion SpaceX lead for CCP Demonstration Mission 1 to International Space Station. Albert Douglawi For outstanding leadership, collaboration, and technical contributions in advancing the technology readiness level of the additively manufactured electric pump-fed engine. Jennifer Edmondson for outstanding management of the in-space manufacturing team during a difficult transition period, exemplifying the best values of NASA leadership and dedication to mission. Sean Gardner For outstanding leadership and exceptional achievement to Marshall Space Flight Center during a critical time of transformational change and budget reductions to NASA's mission support areas. Krissa Hall for exceptional development of new processes, establishment of working groups, and improvised administrative operations in support of the Office of the Director. Jimmy Hargrove. The exemplary and dedicated leadership to the Orion Project supporting manufacturing and fabrication. Mary Harris. For outstanding contributions to the preservation of important documents and the establishment of a Marshall Space Flight Center Technical Library. Katie Hester, for outstanding support to the Space Launch System Program in the planning and execution of the Space Launch System Program 2019 Awards Day Program. James Hill, for exceptional leadership and contributions to the Environmental Control and Life Support System Design Team. Scott Huzar, for exceptional achievement in the role of Orion Launch Abort System Deputy Manager leading to a successful Altitude Abort 2 test flight. Matthew Johnson For exemplary leadership in verification and validation of simulation tools for the Space Launch System Guidance, Navigation, and Control System. Mario Jones For exceptional leadership in specific roles of the Industrial Safety Branch, displaying technical skills and leadership to enable a safe working environment. Ketchell Jordan for excellence in customer service with the classified national security information entrusted to NASA and commitment to the mission of the Marshall Space Flight Center. Chong Li, for exceptional technical achievement supporting thermal environmental definition for the Space Launch System commercial crew and human landing system programs. Curtis Manning, for leadership in re-establishing functionality of the Hydroblast facility. Daniel O'Neill, for sustained technical outreach through the Space Applications Challenge and Agency Technology Insertion Leadership. Robert Powell For extraordinary and distinguished leadership, innovation, and performance in the development of NASA's Space Launch System. Sandra Price For exemplary dedication and determination to ensure the technical readiness of the integrated avionics and test facilities in support of Space Launch System. Adrian Rainwater for superbly serving Space Launch System during critical program milestones and ensuring financial commitments were delivered on schedule. Donna Robinson for exceptional service that contributes substantially to the mission of Marshall Space Flight Center by supporting the Facilities Management Office. Lori Schultz for significant contributions and efforts to engage local, state, federal, and international partners in the use of Earth remote sensing and disaster response. Eric Shoemaker For outstanding support and dedication in the role of Production Support Systems Manager, supporting various new business initiatives at the Michoud Assembly Facility. Lori Sisk For outstanding support to improvements on NASA deliverables and operations sustainment for the International Space Station and Space Launch System programs. Rhonda Smitherman Hickman For outstanding dedication and leadership in support of NASA Space Launch System manufacturing activities at the Michoud Assembly Facility. Aaron St. Pierre For excellent leadership, service, and support in coordinating and providing tours at Michoud Assembly Facility. Chip Stepanek for exceptional leadership and guidance to the Spacecraft and Vehicle Systems Department effort supporting the Human Lander System Program. Jonathan Stevens 
for exceptional leadership and technical contribution to the HLS program, providing expert cryogenic fluid management support and insight to multiple Next Step partners. Africa Stillwater, for outstanding dedication and technical expertise in the development of processes and procedures supporting flight controller certification and records management for PMOD. Dale Taglatello, for demonstrating exceptional dedication and technical expertise while contributing to the fabrication of Space Launch System Core Stage 1 at Mashu Assembly Facility. Angela Thorin, for outstanding accomplishments and exceptional support leading the Electrical, Electronic, and Electromechanical Parts Obsolescence Program for Marshall Space Flight Center and the Agency. Belinda Triplett, for exemplary management, leadership, and mentoring of new contract specialist within the Office of Procurement. Michelle Vanterpool, for providing exceptional service to institutional organizations by significantly reducing risks by providing quality budget analysts during periods of high attrition. Genevieve Vigil, for exemplary demonstration of initiative and problem solving in Marshall Space Flight Center solar sounding rocket design, development, test, and data analysis. David Wall, for exemplary leadership and a true customer first attitude in support of sample cartridge assemblies utilized in the material science research rack low gradient furnace. Chip Walraven, for exceptional leadership and guidance to the Space Launch System Core Stage Element Ground Support Equipment Team. Stephen Wess, for significant thermal engineering contributions to the Space Launch System Block 1B Integrated Spacecraft and Payload Element. Bernard Sigorski, for exceptional service and dedication in project and construction management of key site improvement projects, SLS program support projects, and major tornado recovery. Marshall Space Flight Center Group Achievement Honor Award. Given in recognition of outstanding accomplishment made through the coordination of many individual efforts and that has contributed substantially to the accomplishments of the mission of Marshall Space Flight Center. Advanced Microwave Precipitation Radiometer Team. For outstanding efforts in preparing the Advanced Microwave Precipitation Radiometer for participation in the Camp 2X and Impacts Field Experiments. Artemis One Core Stage Ground Equipment Support Team For exceptional team performance in the requirements development, verification, testing, and operation of the Space Launch System Core Stage Ground Support Equipment. Budget Distribution and Control Team For sustained, outstanding financial support which contributed to the success of Marshall Space Flight Center programs and projects. Chromospheric Layer Spectropolarimeter 2 Team for outstanding execution of the Chromospheric Layer Spectropolarimeter 2 sounding rocket mission, which launched from White Sands Missile Range on April 11, 2019. Electronic Fab Shop Team For outstanding achievement and excellent support to multiple projects during the January 2019 government furlough. EV Commercial Crew Program Support Team For outstanding support of vehicle development for the Commercial Crew Program. Express Software Team For dedicated teamwork during the development, test, and delivery of the expedite and processing of experiments to the Space Station software releases. FCASA Analysis Team For conducting challenging analysis and testing to quantify uncharacterized risk due to hot gas ingestion in the forward crossover attachment and separation assembly. HLS Cryogenic Systems Risk Reduction Test Team for contribution to the Human Lander System Appendix E risk reduction effort, supporting a commercial partner with cryogenic testing of their composite propellant tank system. Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer CDR Team For superior performance in the preparation and successful completion of the Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer Mission Critical Design Review. Institutional Support Office Team for exceptional support in the Institutional Support Office and the Marshall Space Flight Center. Integrated Staffing Plan Tool Team For exceptional achievement in developing an integrated staffing plan, labor validation, and personnel action tool to support streamlining of hiring initiatives at Marshall Space Flight Center. 
XP EUR Structural Thermal Analysis Team for extraordinary dedication and outstanding technical excellence in support of the Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer Mirror Mount Assembly Engineering Unit Redesign. XP Mirror Module Assembly Design Team for tireless efforts in closing two concurrent XP Mirror Module Assembly anomalies over a six-month time frame and successfully transitioning to flight hardware production. Life Sciences Glove Box Team for outstanding support and dedication to the Marshall Space Flight Center International Space Station and NASA Spaceflight Mission to commission and operate the Life Sciences Glove Box Facility. Lunar Regolith Field Experiment Team for successful implementation of the Mighty Eagle Regolith Field Experiment under scheduled duress, highlighting Marshall Space Flight Center's role in the agency's Artemis Lunar Exploration Program. Maximo Hazardous Materials System Development Team For successful development and implementation of Maximo Hazardous Materials System software to track and manage hazardous materials and waste for Marshall Space Flight Center. Minor Construction Contract Team Award for outstanding development and implementation of the minor construction contract at Marshall Space Flight Center. Marshall Space Flight Center Administrative Officer Team. For outstanding administrative support to Marshall Space Flight Center following a year of unprecedented change with new processes, tools, and classification and staffing transition to NSSC. Marshall Space Flight Center Attrition Initiatives Workforce Strategy Team for successfully creating and implementing a workforce strategy to offer attrition incentives in support of Marshall Space Flight Center workforce reshaping. Marshall Space Flight Center Human Resources Business Partners Team for successfully implementing a new human capital service delivery model for Marshall senior leaders, supervisors, administrative officers, and employees. Marshall Space Flight Center Post-Furlough Return to Work Team for exceptional support of Marshall Space Flight Center critical operations and return to work readiness during the 2018-2019 furlough. Marshall Space Flight Center Property Disposal Team For exemplary performance during increased disposal activity due to implementation of the Commercial Space Lease Agreement with Blue Origin and the closure of Building 4201. Nuclear Thermal Propulsion Fuel Development Team for exceptional technical achievement and innovation in the area of nuclear fuels fabrication for the Nuclear Thermal Propulsion Project. Operations Leads Team For outstanding support to the International Space Station Program for the development of quality operational products enabling high science return for the science community. Payload Developer Proprietary Data Team for outstanding support to the International Space Station Program for development and coordination of a process to handle and protect payload developer proprietary data. PMPO, Integrated Baseline Review Team. For recognition of the establishment of the capability to perform integrated baseline reviews on the projects within the Planetary Missions Program Office. Risk-Based Penetrant Inspection Team. For outstanding contributions in the creation and implementation of a risk-based approach to the application of penetrant inspections. Source Selection Office Pricing Team For exceptional pricing support and guidance to the Procurement Source Selection Office and to NASA in execution of complex contract actions and agency pricing initiatives. Strategic Workforce Master Plan Team for outstanding performance and integration in the development of the Center Strategic Workforce Master Plan and contribution to the Agency's Strategic Workforce Master Plan. Research and Technology Award For recognition of notable achievements in research and technology development, work directly relating to agency and center missions and science needs. This award focuses on scientific or engineering research innovations and breakthroughs that have been developed and implemented to the extent that the underlying technical achievement has been demonstrated. Essential to the award is a demonstration of the hands-on contributions of the nominees to the success of the effort. This award is for both individuals and teams. Jeffrey Apple For outstanding demonstration of creativity, innovativeness, and enthusiasm for developing and constructing the advanced neutron spectrometer technologies. Derek Blagari, for outstanding contributions and expertise in the area of core flight system software development for the Lunar Catalyst Project. Rapid Analysis and Manufacturing Propulsion Technology Team, 
for outstanding engineering achievements of developing additively manufacturing specialty vendors, bimetallic rocket engine thrust chamber assemblies, and rocket nozzles. Marshall Innovation Award To promote and honor innovation and creativity in the Marshall Space Flight Center workforce, it is open to all Marshall Space Flight Center civil servants and contractors in all center organizations, both technical and non-technical, and provides recognition to employees who have best exemplified creative and innovative work accomplishments and behaviors during the year. This award is for both individuals and teams. Stephen Alpha for exemplary performance in the design and implementation of the Enterprise Voice Transformation for an Effective Center Migration. Jennifer D'Alessio For innovative structural analysis critical to the flight rationale and support of the Space Launch System Launch Abort System Ascent Abort 2 test. Jason Detko For outstanding leadership and contract management in support of Marshall Space Flight Center's mission during a time of unprecedented change. Dorothy Holloway, for exemplary contributions in the formal transfer of freight bill certification from the Marshall Space Flight Center Accounting Operations Office to the Logistics Transportation Office. David Reynolds, for demonstrating long-term vision through implementation of innovation spaces, extended and virtual reality spaces, and a makerspace in support of mission objectives. Nicholas Robbins, for innovative support to the SLS Booster Project and out-of-the-box thinking, which resulted in significant cost savings. Ronald Shelton, for exemplary achievement in the development of TO Temperature Evaluation Module, TOTEM, in order to evaluate material test data for the agency's layered pressure vessels. Whitney Young, for outstanding performance in the formulation and execution of the Marshall Academic Working Group. Michael Zanetti, for outstanding initiative in the development of an innovative prototype 3D Doppler light detection and ranging scanning system for lunar science and exploration. Ionic Liquids Laboratory Team For superior research and developed and advanced ionic liquids development in situ resource utilization and support to Marshall Space Flight Center. Payload Adapter Automated Non-Destructive Team for outstanding engineering performance in procuring, implementing, and developing the operating procedures for the Payload Adapter Automated Non-Destructive Evaluation System. Rotor Dynamic Analysis Team For demonstrating extreme innovation and securing a patent on a new rotodynamic stabilizing device, referred to as Reverse Vortex Ring. Marshall Space Flight Center Patent Award the Marshall Space Flight Center patent plaque is given in recognition to inventors who within the past year have had a patent issued by the United States Patent and Trademark Office in support of NASA. Brad Adana For the solenoid-controlled, liquid-cryogenic, hydraulically actuated isolation valve assembly. William Brandsmeyer For the cladding and freeform deposition for coolant channel closeout. David Broadway for the thin film fabrication system employing mechanical stress measurement. Jonathan Darden. For the reverse vortex ring, RVR, for dramatic improvements in rocket engine turbo machinery rotor dynamic stability margins. Travis Davis. For the solenoid controlled liquid cryogenic hydraulically actuated isolation valve assembly. Eric Earhart. For the Reverse Vortex Ring, RVR, for dramatic improvements in rocket engine turbo machinery, rotor dynamic stability margins. Daryl Gaddy. For the method of mapping melt pattern during directed energy fabrication. Paul Gradle. For the cladding and freeform deposition for coolant channel closeout and for the method of mapping melt pattern during directed energy fabrication. Charles Griffith. For the surface grinding tool. Curtis Hill for the rechargeable energy source capacitor in system, and for the solid dielectric for rechargeable energy source capacitor. Adam Kimberlin, for the method of mapping melt pattern during directed energy fabrication. Derek Moody, for the method of mapping melt pattern during directed energy fabrication. James Richard, for the solenoid controlled liquid cryogenic hydraulically actuated isolation valve assembly. Terry Rowland, for the rechargeable energy storage capacitor and system, and for the solid dielectric for rechargeable energy storage capacitor. Herb Sims, for the dual band and wide band patch antenna. 
Ian Small for the rechargeable energy source capacitor and system and for the solid dielectric for rechargeable energy source capacitor. Congratulations to all our award recipients today. I know this has been a different way to celebrate and recognize your amazing accomplishments. But like everything else during this pandemic, we found a way to adapt. Thank you to everyone that made this ceremony happen. It wouldn't be a success without you and your hard work. Even though I prefer to be with all of you in person, this is the best part of my job, bringing attention to the great work of our outstanding Marshall team. I know your agility and ingenuity will continue to shine as we navigate these uncertain times. And I can't wait to see what we can do as a team and what we will achieve in 2021. Thank you for all you do and have a great day.